Hi guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. Uh, this is part two in the colour theory series of videos I'm doing on how to use colour. Um, in the last one we covered violet which is probably my favourite colour and today we're going to tackle another colour that I really love and that's green. Um, green is an incredible colour with so many variances and shades and tones and nuances we can do so much with a green um, but we'll get to that for in a second first of all like a follow on from the last video this is a guy this is very much a work in progress shot of a new miniature I'm painting from Flesh of Gods and this is using a hundred percent the the learnings and the principles and the theory I showed you in the last video so, so far, every element of this model has been painted with violet. So, I've used all the colours I showed you in the last video of painting this, starting with violet and creating those different tones and nuances to create every different element on the model. Even the hair started as violet. So, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll try and go through some of those color choices I've used there and just give you a few pointers of what I've done. Right, so on to green, guys. So, green, as we can see here on the color wheel, when, when we're looking at green, you know, if we start from pure green, um, our complement color is red, so we can certainly use red and maybe pinky reds in some cases which will look nice we've got our lovely violet as part of the triad and we've got orange as the other part of the triad so again if you was to use a 60 30 10 ratio of this triad it'll work very well on most models but also green is one of our our strong colors a pure color well not a pure color actually it's like violet it's a secondary color so this is also made up of mixing equal amounts of blue and yellow. So we now have our green plus one, two, three, four, five colors there that are gonna work very nicely with our green. So what I've got on the palette today, I hope, I hope the screen looks a bit lighter today. I have tried to lighten it up. So we have this mix of colors and these are just starting shades you don't you don't need all of these or these exact colors um, but I've got a very mid-level deep green here I've got my amethyst blue again which is my violet I've got a very medium orange I've got a nice saturated bright blood red I've got an ice yellow this is going to be my lightning color which I add highlights with with a lot of things also I've got this perfect yellow which again it works very nicely and I've got two blues and there's a good reason for this so I want to show you the difference between using a Ducat blue which is a blue with a lot of white so very good for highlighting and a medium blue which is quite a nice saturated blue so where do we start with green so oh, the other thing I didn't do let's do that right now we also want to do our standard thing which is black and white so whenever we paint colors we can always just add black and white you know it's it's not my perfect or standard way but it is a way you know certainly if we want something that's more desaturated not so vibrant and there are lots of places and cases where you would use that you know I'm thinking about army camos um, you know um, the guard um, of games workshop where you'd want their 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 clothing their camo to be quite desaturated so let's get our green on the palette so this is our green and as you can see this is a very mid-level very neutral beautiful vibrant green so if we take that green and we try and darken it with black we'll see what we start to get so as we come up here 
first shade is really nice we've got a nice darker green and then we start getting into real black grey greens colours like this I've probably overdone the black a bit there let's have a little bit more green into that so obviously going darker but getting more and more desaturated and we'll do the same with the light side so again we'll start with that green and we're going to add a little bit of white and we'll start getting much lighter paler colors at this stage that's quite nice it's not bad but we'll see that it starts to really start to desaturate when we're adding the white in as the more and more white we add the more color we're losing so always remember that when you're adding white you're you're effectively removing color and just adding you know a non-color white as it is this this progression is very nice it's quite pleasing actually through green um, certainly one of the better colors to use white in you know like i say it doesn't quite look quite so stark and um, chalky as other colors and it, it it starts moving towards a sort of minty sort of green which which is nice it's really nice but let's get on to the interesting stuff so the complement of green so when we look on the color world the perfect complement to green is red and as we saw in our last video, when we mix the two, a color with its complement, what we're going to usually end up is a brown, a brownish sort of tone, a grayish brownish sort of tone. Um, in the case of green, it's quite a, an interesting tone. It's, you can sort of vary it to sort of a greeny brown and a reddy brown and it, it actually works really nicely so we'll start up here with that so that's adding red and green to get this sort of brownish tone that we're going to get from those two colors once we've got that tone as i showed before that there's so many ways we we could have different sprouts off of that tone from the green we could aim, we could add more towards the green, we could add yellow into that, we could add a nice yellow, oranges, you know, it, it's sort of endless possibilities, but we'll, we'll go down the road of adding more red to that. We'll just stick to the red, and then we get this sort of, now we're heading more into this sort of burgundy sort of, sort of territory. And if we now start adding in one of my mixing colors like ice yellow now we're getting into these really nice sort of more of a plum sort of color again slightly different tone to what we had in the violet one but this is more when we use that complement color I'm, I'm sort of finding that we start getting more into nice sort of skin shadow colors we could start really using this as skin colors and skin shadow colors especially and all i'm doing here is i'm just adding ice yellow into that mix and as you can see here this is getting into a really nice sort of skin color now for shading on a skin adding like a desaturated tone would work really nicely and it, it, it the tone is really lovely it's really pleasing and this progression again doesn't look very green but there is definitely green in there so it's it's going to harmonize with your your green color scheme it's going to work really nice as an offshoot color next to something that's green so the other colors we've got we've got violet and we've got orange we we've already sort of covered a bit of violet in a previous video but we'll we'll just step through quickly what happens when we start adding a little bit of violet in so when we start adding this in, the, these are the tones that I really like. This really starts to get interesting now with violet. Um, so we're now getting this again, a darker, richer green. 
which is very nice. Now we add a little bit more in. And the trick here is it's a bit like the red, it's start gonna start getting darker and darker. So we'll start adding our ice yellow in now to that colour. And I know we've already seen a very similar progression on the purple video. Um, so we're going to get very similar colours. But this time it's more, I'm doing it more green dominant. So I'm using a lot of our main colour. And I'm just lightening that up. So effectively with an ice yellow or a pale yellow, I'm adding yellow. But I'm adding a little bit of white in it. To get um, a slightly more saturated color and as you can see like as we get now into the real highlight values again just a lovely progression of color that I really love these these offshoot colors we get are just really exciting they 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 really sort of are pleasant on the eye and this is the difference when you're using color. When, you, when you're when you using whites and blacks, you tend to get this, like I said earlier, a very stark or chalky sort of look, which is not so pleasant. And it's much harder to blend. When you're using more pure colors like this, blending I actually find a lot easier. And it's much nicer to find, and easier to find these in-between tones that make the overall part you're painting look more interesting. So let's carry on. So we've got our green. We're going to come with our green again. And we're going to start, we're going to try the other part of the triad, which is orange. What's going to happen when we mix green and orange? What sort of color are we going to get here, do you think, guys? So we're now moving here. So we've got, a, again, quite a, if you look at all these different first color greens, we've got this completely different array of greens. This one as well is... Now this to me looking more like a woodland forest green. And it's, it's really nice. It's just a beautiful rich colour. Um, so we'll add just even more orange into that. And we're, we're starting to get these really lovely sort of woodland tones. Look at that tone there. It's like a, a greeny brown but very sort of like woodlandy. So Again, we'll come in here, we'll try adding a bit of yellow to this instead of ice yellow this time. And we, we're just sort of trying to judge this as we go. You know, just trying to think what will look good. And again, this is a lovely green. A little bit lighter this time. And we've got this very sort of different sort of branch of colors now. That color there is getting, that's a beautiful color, really lovely. And this is sort of moving, we've got this green, we've created a slightly darker green with the orange, and now we're moving into sort of a browny green. Now we're moving into sort of, uh, sort of khaki greeny sort of colors. And if we add now our ice yellow in, we will definitely start moving into, um, more of these sort of khaki tones so we're now getting these more um, khaki whitish tones but they're they're colorful tones you know I can almost when you get in here now we're almost moving into the realms of Zandri dust and Ushabti bone and this this progression here is looking to me like it's heading towards bone colors so if I carry on adding white into that, we're definitely going to get a really nice sort of bone color. So this color here, yeah, look at that. That's really a beautiful sort of bone color. And this progression here is just stunning. It's lovely colors. You know, these colors would just work beautifully when we're painting you know we, we can do so much within this color range and imagine if we had these colors here matched with these colors and then a little bit of this color here these combinations are going to look so good on a model and it's not just so much green so much orange so much violet these are all within a green and we're creating these tones 
you know, that, that are just going to look so nice on a model. And the, these are the colors. When, when I see threads on Instagram or Facebook, these are the sort of colors people are saying, what color are you using there? What, what was that color in there? How did you get that color? And when painters, top painters are painting, they quite often are not aware of what they're, you know, precisely using. They're mixing colors as they go, but th these are the sort of strategies they're using. You know, they're, they're mixing greens with oranges and with yellows and blues and et cetera. And that's where they're getting these, you know, really lovely different tones. So if we now start looking at what, what makes up our green, okay. So again, what, what, what we're finding with a couple of these colors is when we had violet, we had very similar. It, it won't be the same for every color, but what I really like now is like when we've got green, this is made up of blue and yellow. And these are exactly the opposites in terms of temperature. So blue is certainly the coldest color. And yellow is certainly one of the warmest colors, if not the warmest. If you imagine the color of the sun is yellow, we're certainly into a very warm color here. So by mixing these colors in, we're going to get very, very different effects. We're going to get a very you know, bright, warm, saturated green, and we're going to get a more minty, teal, cold, greeny blue. So that also is really exciting. It's really interesting how you can, because when you add those different tones on the model, not only are you going to get color harmony and color, you know, that really go well together, you're going to build contrast in temperature. So th this is something that's going to make your mini pop. And, th and this is a little trick that a lot of painters use. So let's have a look at what happens when we start adding yellow in. And I, I think you've probably, most people have gone down this path of highlighting green with yellow. Certainly with goblins and orcs, it, it's, it's, it's a really nice color combination. So as you can see there, we get this super saturated bright green. You know, it's it's beautiful it's a lovely bright green that is and if we just keep adding yellow we just get more and more luminosity that's the word here we're now getting a lot of luminosity painting these colors here if you imagine we're painting something more in the you know cyberpunk neon range these colors are, ju are just going to really pop because we're getting really bright, highly saturated greens that you just don't see a lot of in real life. So the, these are very much aiming down that, very much the fantasy, um, an unusual range of colors because of their, their brightness and luminosity. So this color here I've just mixed now, this is, we are getting towards this sort of color. So this is very much, this is pistachio, and this is very, almost identical to the color I've just mixed. And that's what you'll find when you're mixing these colors. You'll see colors and say, oh, that, that is pistachio. You know, so that's how they probably mix pistachio. So you, you'll see that more and more when you mix these tones. And what's really nice is when we get to the highlight stage now, of this progression if we actually add in our ice yellow we just get another really interesting tone off of that now this tone itself is really cool so what we could do if we don't want that progression to be too bright we can actually do a little thing where we add a little bit of yellow to the main green and we'll add ice yellow right now, now we start getting a, another really interesting range of colors. Now we're adding, heading towards like a pea green and more of a minty green. And if we add more ice yellow, wow, this is just a beautiful color. We're now heading more towards, a, like I say, a, a pea pastel type green. And, and these sorts of colors, they're, they're just different and they're just really exciting colors to work with. 
Um, and there you go. See that little progression there? If we had little bits on the model like that, it, it would stand out beautifully. It would look absolutely terrific. Now, the other side of what makes up green is blue. And, and what I've done today is I've got, I've got two, two, I've put two different blues on there to show you this, um, the different ways you can go. So we'll start off with a light blue. So this is our green and we'll add light blue. And we start getting into, we'll do it here. See now we've got this sort of bluey green color. It's very much a sort of GW type color. I think it's jade green. Or I can't remember the exact name of it. But you can see these colors as you're mixing. And again, we'll add more blue in. So it's a bit more dominant now, the blue. And now we're getting into these very blue greens. You know, a sort of turquoise, jade, blue green sort of thing. Let's just get a little bit more of my ice yellow on there. And we'll carry on this progression. So how are you liking these videos, guys? Tell me, tell me in the comments below. Are you finding this interesting, exciting? Well, what do you think? I, I love making these videos. They're, they're just so cool. And I, I got such a lot of good response from the first one. The, it, it's so nice to see you guys getting something out of this now look at this this is this is a beaut this is what i'd call a perfect blue green this color here which i love i love using that type of color it's so interesting and again we can just i'm just adding more and more ice yellow well, i could have used pale yellow but now we're getting to these beautiful tones look at that that that's just so so rich it's so it, it it'll pop on your miniature this will pop it'll really stand out as this just beautiful vibrant blue green and yeah that progression there is just beautiful absolutely beautiful i love that color i, lo I love all these colors and, and as you can see this is this is what strikes me with when we explore color like this with basically just four or five colors here and we're starting from this one color and we've en we've st we've we've ended up with a burgundy type plum type run here we've ended up with brownish tones that we can mix here we've got more neutral sort of pea whitish greens here we've got luminous bright yellowy greens now we've got these beautiful blue toned greens and, and they're all working really nice. They, they just just look so gorgeous together. So we'll now look at what we need to do now is we're, we're adding a dark blue, or well, medium blue, but darker. So again, this is green and blue. And here you see this, this tone is just gorgeous. That's, that's a color, I, I used to use this years ago for cobalt used to be able to buy this color and it's just just a beautiful color so let's try this time we'll now start adding yellow in we'll add yellow first and let's see what we get now we've got a nice rich green now we'll add a little bit more of that blue and we'll add ice yellow so we're adding we're up in the value but we're adding a little bit of blue Again, we, we're sort of getting similar tones to up here, but it's slightly different. So what, what can we do to change it? So we don't want the same progression. So let's look at one of our other colors. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Now we're getting into some very sort of different colors. Now look at this look. So this is when we add a little bit of orange, one of our other complementing colors into that progression and now we're getting into some very different types of color here and we maybe add a little bit of luminosity to that with a little bit of yellow and we'll add a little bit of our ice yellow 
and there we go again just a, a very different sort of progression of color um you know one of the things like i did there guys is don't be afraid to experiment right so if if we've got our green say you know like we just did there it is it's very nice to say you know if we're going down a certain path say we're adding our purple into that green all right which is great we're getting this color here which i think is what we did up uh, i can't remember which one now uh, looks like this one actually now that on itself that's just a really nice start of a color it's very rich it's got almost equal amounts green and violet but don't be afraid now to say well okay let's let's try adding some orange in where does this go with orange what tone do we get and again we're getting more brownie tones now now we'll add in some yellow perhaps what does that do ah. now we're getting more german uniform type camo type greens and again what if we add a little bit of blue into that ah, that's quite nice so now we're getting very different greens and again if we go in with our ice yellow sort of more of a highlight color to these again we we're just building different tones and all we're really having to do here is just lay out our colors all i've done really here is, is laid out the colors green orange red violet blue and yellow um, but mixing and matching those colors from our one green you know we're we're getting some amazingly good tones you know it's really working really nicely and you know as in the violet video i did before like i said violet is probably my favorite color to work with but green is a very close second i think and this is why you know this array of colors and tones can really make your miniatures stand out and and like i said um I'm demonstrating this on the miniature I'm painting at the moment that you can paint a whole miniature with this one color you know just by using this green like I said you can paint elements in this really nice blue green you can paint these browner greens you can go on the reddish greens we can even mix that up to like bone colors here and I'm sure if we experimented through the black line here we'd get some really nice darker colors and like I said you know you've got reds yellows whitish colors blue colors all of these colors you can get that are harmonizing with our original green you know so this this area of exploration can really open your eyes to you know painting a great color scheme and, and this is one of um my students and my my twitch audience you know one of the most common questions i get asked is well how do you build a color scheme what colors go with this color what color go with that color? how how do i build a whole color scheme around you know this skin or whatever and you know most of the time if, if you guys ever watch me paint i i start painting with very little plan and usually i'm focusing on one color i'll start a skin color and i'll think i want this to have you know maybe a, a warm skin tone which is oranges and yellows you know orange browns and then i'll start looking at within those colors and go well actually i can i can start moving into purple here because purple works perfectly with the yellow and on the other side of this miniature maybe i can move into blues because it's more orangey and the blue will complement that and then with elements around the model i'm looking at well this is more the purple side of the model or you know the shadowy side what's going to work with purple yellow and i'm building color schemes up like that so it's a very interesting way um to build your color schemes you know so as promised earlier i'm sorry this is a long video guy um so this guy here so as you can see his skin color is quite an interesting color it, it's 
I really loved painting the skin color here and I'll, I'll show you what I did okay we'll try and leave him there I don't know if I can tilt him so I can keep him on screen but what we did is very similar to what I've just showed you so as I said I'm painting this whole whole mini with violet and I'm going to use violet throughout the model so I've just put a, a little bit more of the green on so what I did I started with a violet color and I added some green in here and I think I had pale yellow rather than ice yellow so we'll put a bit of that on the palette All right. so my starting tone my what we might call my base color was this purple color with a little bit of green in it okay which it's a beautiful rich tone uh, you know I, it's very cold it's very dark but it, it's just got this beautiful tone of violet and green in it and it means when I get the violet and green in there I, I could go several different ways here from this I could add go down more the green path and add yellows I could go down more the purple up you know path and add more whitish colors I think I went more down the whitish path here where I add in yeah I did pale yellow so I started just adding more and more pale yellow and this is the progression I started to see. We just started to see these really nice, interesting blue grays. And right up to our highlight tone, which is getting more towards this. Yeah. Moved more into these sorts of tones. So that was pretty much my color run, give or take. I might, I might have added a little bit of more green, a little bit more orange, something like that here. Um, but it, it just worked really well as a cold, nice skin tone. Now the hair, as you can see here, is more of a reddish burgundy type color that we're getting in. But again, I started with purple. And I think I added red into that. Red. What did I add in there? Maybe a bit of orange. Yeah, I think it was something like that. We started getting into this sort of reddish color. It may have been more purple than that. Which is fine. Maybe more a bit like that. Yeah, more like that maybe. And then I just, I literally started just adding in my pale yellow, I think. Maybe with one of the next colors. Yeah, I started heading more down this sort of pinky root. Burgundy pinky root. And I think I might have added a bit of orange into that, maybe. And a lot more pale yellow for the extreme highlights of what we were getting to. So we're adding more and more of these sort of colors and then I went really bright. I think I went more up to sort of around here. And yeah, maybe a slightly off with the color there. Then I get more of this color here. Yeah, But somewhere down that path, and it was really about I've got I've got the video which is going to be on my Patreon. Yeah, maybe I was sort of more in this sort of area. Yeah, that looks probably closer. So I just added a little bit of blue into that. Yeah, and that that's that's getting more towards the light highlight colours there. But again, it's like I said, I'm just I'm starting with the same colour. I've, I've got my complementary colors on the palette and I'm just mixing different tones out of those and again the leather here was just going down the violet and orange violet orange and red violet orange yellow just experiment until I get the tones I want but trying to keep that violet tone underneath it all right then guys i've waffled on and on here this has been a long one i'm afraid sorry about that um i've tried to lighten up the camera a bit as well so hopefully it looks a little bit better on the screen and
thanks for watching um, we'll do another one real soon so post something down in the comments there if there's a color you'd like to see me look at and analyze and break down for you um, but thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it